trains the best method of transportation for land, symbol of the industrial age, massive infrastructure projects, and increasingly high speeds, they are crucial to our society and needs. And here's what they look like in Minecraft. So that is why I had to take the duty to pick some of the best and most iconic trains in the entire world and build them in Minecraft. Now I know that a lot of people have already made working trains in Minecraft before but my goal is to take it further than anyone has ever done. In fact I'm not only going to build some trains but I'm also planning to build tracks throughout the Minecraft world, a massive station and much more. You guessed it, I, I like, like trains. trains. But before we start making the trains, we should make a station from them to depart and arrive to. And for that, I have decided to recreate Milan's main train station in Minecraft up to scale. But first, let's get there and take a look at it. Welcome to Milano Centrale. This is the busiest station in Italy and one of Europe's largest and I'm going to build it in Minecraft. I mean, just look at this. Once I got back home, I instantly started working on the station. To make the most realistic version, I needed to master measuring first. For that, I couldn't rely on my ruler, so I used the Google Maps measure tool to get the exact length of the walls. Of course, there's a limit to how precise it can be with blocks, but it turned out to be very efficient. However, Google Maps doesn't provide a tool to measure the height of a building, so I had to rely on just a few data I found on Wikipedia and make the rest with approximate proportions. The first thing I did was getting the shape of the station and making the square on the front and then I started working on the main facade. It has four large columns on the very front, some smaller columns and windows on the sides and two other large columns on the extremities making this the main entrance of the station. The roof is also very detailed with many windows and I also recreated two large oil statues in the center of the facade which dominate the square. Speaking of which I detailed it by adding trees, light poles and a monument which is actually there in real life but I don't know what what it actually means. Then I got to work on expanding the sides of the station. This part of the building is now mostly occupied by shops and restaurants but it used to be the old ticket office so where the people used to buy their tickets to go on the trains. The ticket office itself is separated into three rooms, the central one which reaches the tallest point of the entire building which you're seeing now. Next to the lateral buildings I made another way in leading directly into another grand hall which connects all the entrances to the gates and the platforms. Then I completed the sides of the station by adding some buildings which don't seem to serve much purpose aside from being there next to the tracks. I think we can all agree to say that this station is absolutely beautiful but it's still missing its most important part, the platform and the tracks where the trains will actually be. So let's do that! Firstly I made the platform by raising the ground and making the interior facade of the lateral buildings and then continued the platform until where the tracks end. The archway consists of five arches of different heights which are made out of steel and have many windows which lets even more natural lights into the station and on the platforms. This might not seem like a very hard part of the build as I could just build one ring and then repeat it with commands but it still took a lot of time to get the perfect lighting under the archway. With that the exterior of the station is complete and it's time to work on the interior. At this point into the process I realized that trying to recreate something from real life into Minecraft takes more than double the time it would take to make something of my own. However I was way too far into the process to give up. In fact everything that I've built here took me more than 30 hours to make and we're only halfway there. So let's go back to building. I started by working on the interior of the main entrance by finishing the columns inside and making the arches and the glass windows on the ceiling. To achieve the most realistic natural light into the station I made the windows by using two layers of glass separated by iron bars to make the frames. You can see that I'm now working on the central ticket office I mentioned earlier and I'm adding the stairs and the escalators which take the people up to platform level. Then I made some smaller rooms which are now mostly shops and some other stairs for the buildings on the side of the ticket office. After that it was finally time to work on my favorite room the second hallway just before the tracks. I love this room so much because of the feel you get when you're on the escalators and you look up to the ceiling. So I proceeded the same way as the other rooms and also added the gates that lead to the archway and the platforms. Then I put the escalators and made the underpass which connects all the entrances and is part of the modern part of the station. And finally I made the tracks and added some lights to the platforms where we'll soon put the trains. With that the station is complete. I'm extremely proud of the work that I did. I think I recreated 
fitted perfectly the impressive architecture of this build. So enjoy the cinematic of the station. Now it's time to make the trains that are going to be traveling inside the station. For that, I need to search for a mod which lets me make my own train and most importantly, drive it. However, I was surprised by how little choice I found. Those are literally 3D models put into the game. I mean, they look cool, but I want to make my own. And that is when I found Create. Create is a mod which adds motors, mechanical arms, machines, and you guessed it, trains to the game. It gives players the possibility to make automated farms and machines, expanding the limits of Minecraft furthermore. Create is a world of endless possibilities and also endless crashes. So just install the mod and I made the first track, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a train. You literally just need to put a station and you create a new train, you put a boogie, then you put another one, and you can literally just connect them with blocks and if you want to make another carriage you just place another boogie and repeat and once that is done of course you can decorate your train however you want and after that the train is basically ready to go you literally just need a command and a seat then you glue and you assemble it and it's ready to go you sit down <laughs> and you can go this is minecraft so yeah this is incredible and it's time to take it to the next step now that we've tested that the mod actually works it's time to build the first train starting from my favorite the italo agv it was really hard to get the tip of the locomotive right but thankfully i found a tutorial and made the first prototype of the train as you can see the train is complete and we're going to try it out now Let's see if this works. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we left something behind. <laughs> now it should be fixed, so we should leave nothing behind. Oh. This works perfectly. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, pig, no. <laughs> I just killed a pig. No. So I've seen a tutorial online about how you can make those trains go faster. So we're going to try that out. So I'm putting 80 blocks per second, which is more or less 300 kilometers an hour. So the real speed of this train. All right. Let's see the top speed of this baby. Ooh, that's really fast. My, my word can't load. <laughs> so we've seen the real maximum speed of this train, but I want to take it a little further. It's time to push this train to its limits. This is not physically possible, but we're still going to do it. Chunks are not loading. <gasps> what? No. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, I think that was a little too fast. Anyway, back to building trains. I figured out how to increase the train's maximum length and finish the Italo AGV to real scale and then got to work on my second train, which is the French GGV Duplex. It is a double-decker train, so it is taller than others and I had to build it keeping in mind the height of the electric cables I'm going to add on top later. So this was a bit of a trouble, but once I had figured it out, it was done. And so I made five other trains. The Japanese Shinkansen E5, the Swiss SBB New Pendolino, the German Intercity Express 3, the Chinese Chira H5, and the Italian Arlecchino. The last one is a special train because it's a vintage train which doesn't operate regularly, and you can even sit down and look at the landscape on the first and the last car while the pilot controls the train from a cabin above. The fleet is now complete. All of these trains work and have interiors and it's really fun to drive and explore them. And just so you know how crazy I am, I also made the tram and the metro station which actually work. We've got the station, we've got the trains, now let's combine them and go for the final testing of this video. That's it, I've finally put all the trains inside the station. I I'm so tired right now but it's finally done and we can go try the first train. There we go. Oh, leaving the station looks so cool. Okay, we are ready for the last test of this video. Let's go. Okay. My, my game is lagging a lot. Let's see the top speed. Let's go. We are there. Yes. 
We're entering the station at top speed. I have no idea what this will cause. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Everyone should do that. With that, the project is complete. Yes, finally. It took like 70 hours to make. If you want to try it for yourself or just see the station, I'll leave you guys the download link for the map in the description. And before ending this video, enjoy this final cinematic. Now that's the end of the video, I enjoyed making it so much and I want to make many more in the future so if you don't want to miss that out, please subscribe, it's free! And I'll see you guys in the next one! Huh? I don't remember something being here. What's this? Is this... Is this the Ariper Hoop? Wow! Oh my god, this is so cool! This is so fast and convenient! How come has nobody thought of this before? Let me take just a little bit of fresh air. Uh oh.